Greetings. Today I'm doing a video on creating a custom look for myself using tone curves in raw therapy. So as the image is here, I have a custom profile that I've created already. And if you don't know how to create a custom profile for yourself, I have another video explaining that. Also other photographers that have knowledge about raw therapy have also covered that subject, how you can create a custom profile for yourself. But what I'm going to start with, instead of using the tone curve that I created, I'm going to click on Auto Matched. So if I just go back, that's my custom profile, and there's the Auto Match there. You can see a lot darker, more contrast. So I'm going to use this curve here to make adjustments. What I want to do is left click on this node, and I want to remove this node here. So if I drag it off, you can see that it removes that node. So I'll just do that again. If we drag it up, left click and drag it off, whether it be up or down, it will remove that node. I'll just slide this node up here so we can slide them up and down as well. So I'll remove this one here, take that off, and just create another one here by clicking on the line. Next, I want to lift up the black point here to create that faded look. There's many tutorials how to create this as well. So I'm just going to click on the nodes and just adjust them till I like. I have the shadows and I've, so I have a more, much more faded look or a matte look for the photograph. So I'll just go back to the tone curve. You can see there the adjustments being made. And if you're familiar with printing, you know about black point compensation and using this point here. But I'll just go back to where we left off. What I'm going to do now, so I'm happy with that. I don't want to adjust this any further. I want to go into the second tone curve and just slightly bring down the highlights. On the tone curve here, I'll click on my drop down here and we have standard, flexible, parametric and control cage. And what I want to choose is parametric. I've been exploring the parametric tone curve. One of the things in the parametric option here, I'll just reset that. On the parametric here, we, we cannot create a node here on the line. When I left click, it doesn't give me that option. But if I click on the crosshairs here, and if I select the background, I'll hold down control and left click and let go of control. If I drag up and down like the equalizers, we can see the shadow slider moving. So I'll just reset that. So on our tone curve here, when we hover over where it says shadows, darks, lights, and highlights, we can see the, the selection that we can make on that line. Also, if I increase the shadows here, for example, if I want to minimize this curve selection a little bit more, I can click in our option here and drag it back. And we can see there the effect on the curve. We can see slight adjustments on the image as well. So I'll just zero that out and I'll just return that there. So if I want to increase the lights here, we can see the curve on our parametric option here. If we want to increase the highlights or decrease the highlights there. We can go a little too far with this. You can start to see the color information and the image starting to break up. I just want to make a small adjustment to the highlight. Control, left click and I'll let go of control and just drag that down ever so slightly. I'll go back to the previous step. We can see there, just a little brighter than highlights and just taken down slightly. One of the other options too I'll go through now is when we're using our HSV equalizer, where we take off a node on our custom curve, like we drag that off the screen and it removes the node. If we go to the HSV equalizer, I'll just select V for the lightness values. If I click on the crosshairs and select the background, I'll hold down control and left click. And I'll let go of control like before. And if I 
increase, we can, we can see on the HSV equaliser, it hits the top and it goes to the bottom if, if we're reducing the brightness of the background or we're increasing. Let's zero that out again. If I hold in control again, left click in that region, if we grab hold of the handles, if we just pull it straight off the screen, selection off the HSV equaliser, it just returns it back to its original state. So again, if I left click, it gives us our option. I can drag down and it resets there. So I thought I'd just show that quickly. So a very simple way to create a custom look for myself in raw therapy using tone curves. Also, what I'll do is come to the color tab. As you know, we have film simulation. So I'll just open this up. I'll activate this and I'll select one or two of these film simulations and we can see the color palette that it applies to the photo. I'll just select one here. I'm on a widescreen here, so you're not going to be able to see the selection. Portrait 400, and you can see the color palette that it gives us on top of the tone curve that we created. Again, if I change again, if I go to Fuji, I'll go 160C. You can see the different look there. Also, we can take down the strength of the effect. We can see there depending on how much you want. What I'm going to do is come to the RGB curves and we can create a custom look for ourselves in raw therapy by using the RGB curves. So I'll just zero that out. If you know a little bit about color theory, we know that we have the red, green and blue as the primary colors. We also have the complementary colors. So what I'm going to do is I'll select red to start with. As before, we can Add nodes to create our curves. So I'll just zero that out. And again, I'll select the crosshairs here. I'll select the dark hair here. Hold down control, left click, and you can see it gives us our node on our RGB curve. I want to minimize the effect for the remainder of the image. So I want to add another node here, and I'll add one here as well. Let's pull that up slightly. So now if I start to push red into the image, into those shadows, you can see the effect it's having. So I'll just turn that off and back on. I want to push the other way. We can see into the highlights, it's starting to push in cyan. So if I turn that off and turn that back on, we're starting to create a, a color palette for ourselves that we can save and store if we have a particular photo in mind we want to create this kind of effect. Instead of going through film simulations, we can create something for ourselves. What I'll do here is I'm going to save this effect. Save current curve. And I've saved a few curves before. I'll just name this curve one red. And I'll save that. Now I'll zero that out. I'll go to blue. And again, I'll use my selection. I'll Click on the dark hair, hold down control, left click, gives us our new node. And I'll just create a few more nodes again, just in the shadows, start to push blue into that shadow region. Probably not so strong. Turn that off, back on, so we can see the shadow areas being affected as we put more blue into the image. Now I'll create another node in our highlights, and start to pull down and start to push yellow into the image. So I'll turn that off. We can see the effects that it's having on the image. So if I'm happy with the result, creating that particular color, I can again save current curve, and I'll call it curve one. This time I'll call it blue. So now if I zero that out, if I go back to red, and if I want to apply that color again, I'll come to the load curve from file, curve one red, and I can apply there. And there's the adjustments we made to the RGB curves. So I'll just zero that out. This time we'll go back to blue, load a curve from file. This time we're in blue, I'll apply. 
And there's the adjustments we made to the blue and the yellow there in the RGB curves. So there's many options to create custom effects in raw therapy. Peace be unto you.